Hey, y'all. I decided I'd like to do a gospel tune for you today. When I was learning to play, I was played in, I played in church a lot, and it was a great place to play because you play in church, and you don't have to be all that good. Folks come up to you after service and say, oh, we just love it when you play your banjo. I obviously needed to get out more when I was learning to play because it wasn't really that great. But I did learn a lot about playing. So this is the old church hymnal that we had when I was a kid. It just says church hymnal. We called it the Red Back Hymnal. Sometimes the choir director would say, get out the Red Back Hymnal. As opposed to, I don't know, my old singing convention book or whatever we happen to have at the little country church that I went to. There's a ton of good stuff in this for banjo. What I want to do is just over in the glory land. It's number 248. And uh, it's also, if you'll look in your book, if you've got this book, you'll see that it's got two flats. And glory mercy, what does that mean? Well, it means it's not in the key of G. For us, I'll just go ahead and tell you, it's the key of B flat, which means that you got to use a capo. I put the capo on the third fret. you got to raise the fifth string to the third fret, too. You can do it any number of ways. I don't have a spike there. I've got a spike at the fourth, so I spike it at the fourth and lower it to the third. But whatever, whatever, however you can get that one raised up to a B-flat note, I'm cool with it. I, I really don't care. So let me play through a little bit of what we're going to do. I'll try to keep everything in frame here. thing so it starts with a little walk up it's just two notes I've a, so there's your two first two words of the song I've a, and then it's just a forward and reverse roll with a two to five slide and we've done that before so go back to the two five one or a pinch either one so it could be or C chord, alternating roll off the third. Alternating roll off a four with a hammer. And then hit your four. And any old fill in lick to do there. So it's four, five, three, one, three, four, one. We'll put that four down. Or four, five, three, one, five, three, one. Anything you want. Any fill-in lick that you know will work there that'll fit in that hole, I promise you. And then, then we're going to do something a little new. These are just, it's never wrong to play the melody. So you can just, you could play. Over in the, you could play that. I like to do it with extra notes, so I'll, I'll play the second string at the same time. And then kind of like holding part of the C chord, and then G. That's the second, third string together. And then same thing, hold D7 shape. Second, third string together. So it sounds over and over. And then a slide. So. So alternating, open. And then a D7 chord or D7 lick, or D lick, or anything that you want here. So technically, you could play this lick, three, four, three, one, three, four, one, four. Or you could just play a forward in reverse off the D7 chord. I 
I don't, I don't care. You can play either one, honest. So, and, and they'll both sound good because it's just a lick. It's just a fill in. So that gets you through the first whole phrase. So let me put words behind it. And I'm not a B, I'm not a singer in B flat, but I'll do my best. Have a home prepared where the saints are. repeats a whole section of that. All that's the same, but the little phrase at the end is a little different. You're going to do a slide, then a D7, and then a tag lick. This one will do. Any of them will do. So here's what you've got. I'll put the words behind it. It might help you. I've a home prepared where the saints are over in the glory land. And I long to be an essay. you through the verse. Now the chorus going to be some similar stuff. It starts, the chorus starts on the word just and it's and all I do is I I usually do it with a slide. Sometimes I'll do it with a hammer from two to three and I, it, on the second string and some and it's either it's a pinch on one and two. Sometimes I just like the slide there and it's just and you can hold that as long as any choir director wants to. And then over, so this, we're going to do a little different little pattern here. So, and, and I'll do you the pattern and then I'll show you something else you could do. So what I do is three, two, one, five, two, five, two, one, three, two, one. But you could go it, it it'll work. So it's just over. So that's just over. That's a whole lot of notes for two words, but and that's the same thing. We're gonna play the melody. It's on the third string, but you can put the second string behind it. Just got to remember to fret the first fret, second string. Then slide. So. That'll work. <laughs> you could do it alternating. Or you can do kind of what I do. You can do a forward and reverse at the end of that. So, so that's just a forward and reverse with that pull off. And a pinch. And then slide. And then it's a pull off. And you go right to the C chord. So it's just... So it's three, two, one, three, four, one. And then, so that's just on the third, third and second. And then you, that finger comes down and then open and goes back. So I'm just hitting the second string every time with my index finger. So that's the same alternating roll, alternating off a third. And then that's our little over in the slide. D lick. Just. That's all the same as before. Just 
just a G fill in lick. Five, three, one, three, four, one. And then we just need our over and one. And then the slide. B7. Any old tag lick. I'm going to do this one. I bet you can figure it out if I haven't shown you that. All right, so let me play through this for you here. I'll go slow. I'll try to play, play what I showed you. singing but hopefully it'll help you understand how the song goes if you didn't already know it and uh, <laughs> at the very least you got a good chuckle out of it just get out there and pick the banjo I, I do recommend picking it at church it's a it's a good a good opportunity to, to to try out what you know and you learn new stuff and you make new friends and, hey you know it, it's a good experience be sure to like this video and subscribe and tell your friends and your neighbors and if you're doing pretty good following my videos let me know I, I love to hear from y'all look some of you asked asked me to set up like a patreon or whatever and I, you know I've got the tab books and if you don't want them that's fine but you know if you want to donate that's a good that's a good medium for donating so you can just buy a little tab and donate whatever you want uh, good to hear from y'all I think about y'all every day I really do and try to think up something new and the, I thought well this is a great little tune and it's one I certainly remember from my childhood and one I still pick and teach all my local students so we'll see you next time